Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Whiteland, and I'm here to introduce you to making an ocarina. Uh, you're going to see a video about uh, how I put together a simple ocarina. You'll have enough clay to add embellishments and details to the ones that you make. Some parts of it are a little tricky, so if you are not successful getting sound out of it, we can help you with that. Uh, so stay tuned and let's see a little PowerPoint and a video. You will notice on this introduction slide that music and art education students at A-State are both involved in this project with you. The purpose of thinking about Greek mythology this year is to help you to be more successful at quiz bowl competition. Hopefully through our ocarina experience you can learn a little bit about the Greek god Apollo. There is a comment on this slide about the muses who were Greek goddesses who were believed to rule over the arts and sciences and give inspiration in these subjects. This painting by Von Hess shows Apollo in the center with the Greek muses around him. Apollo raised the muses and was responsible for teaching them about music, song, and poetry. This slide is of an actual Greek statue depicting Apollo and his lyre. You will notice in the bullet points that Apollo was known as the god of the sun, light, music, medicine, poetry, and prophecy. Typically in Greek art, Apollo was shown as handsome and youthful with golden hair. He had a twin sister named Artemis. Apollo was the son of Zeus, and his mother was a titan named Leto. Other symbols associated with Apollo are the lyre, golden bow and arrows, raven, python, sun, laurel wreath. To make the ocarina, you will need to divide your clay into three ball shapes. Keep any leftover clay in your bag to use for details and embellishments. The first step is to take one of the balls and create a pinch pot by pushing your thumb into the center of the clay and pressing out the sides into an even thickness. The second ball of clay is the base for your ocarina. Flatten it out. Place the first piece of clay on top and blend the edge. The third ball will be used for the mouthpiece. Push it against the ocarina and blend the edges to join it to the body of the ocarina. Next, you will create the passageway for blowing into the ocarina. Insert the flat end of the popsicle stick into the mouthpiece parallel to the bottom of the ocarina. Line up where you will cut the next hole. With your 
your second popsicle stick, try to create a ramp in the clay of about a 45 degree angle. This will split the air going into the ocarina and produce the whistle sound. to remove any excess clay. Continue to work with this ramp in order to make your sound. Once you are successful, you may want to keep your popsicle stick inserted through the mouthpiece while you add any details. Complete the ocarina, insert the paper clip to create four holes. Good luck and may the muses provide inspiration for your construction. <laughs>